Welcome back. From job losses to significant drops in revenue, women and women-owned businesses are bearing the brunt of the economic fallout from the pandemic. A new study by FreshBooks looked at how long it is taking women to rebound from this she session. Joining us this morning to discuss some of the findings are FreshBooks founder Levi Cooperman and business owner Amanda Monday. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Levi, let's begin with you and let's talk about this study and some of the findings. I've seen some similar stats in previous studies, but it still astounds me every single time. What did you find? Yeah, it is quite crazy when you think about it. But what we found was that women owned businesses um, on average took a lot longer to recover than businesses owned by men. And uh, we, we looked at uh, businesses across North America. We did, a, we did a survey. We analyzed our data. And that's what we found. And the big question is why? Yeah, th that is the big question. And uh, uh, we didn't actually ask that question in our survey, but uh, I think it's uh, fairly obvious that women are being forced out of the workplace. Uh, they, they're dealing with pe things at home a lot more than men, and that's causing their businesses to struggle. Uh, let's bring in Amanda here. Uh, Amanda, let's give a shout out to your business because you are experiencing this right now. So your business name and what you're doing and what you're experiencing. Yeah, thanks. Uh, my business is The Workaround and it's a co-working space that has childcare on site. And we primarily serve other women business entrepreneurs. That's great. And so tell me what you've been experiencing over the last, how many months are we into this now? I don't even know. It feels like forever. Yeah. You know, we got hit hard in March when they closed schools and daycares. We went down. We reopened in July. And, you know, what was so frustrating for me was uh, our revenue started to increase a little bit by October, which meant that our wage subsidy decreased. So we went into Toronto's most recent lockdown in a lower cash flow position, which was a terrible situation for us. And, and we've been closed uh, as part of Toronto's most recent lockdown. I'm sorry to hear that. And, and as a woman, you know, the idea of gender roles, obviously, this continues to be at the top of conversation on who is um, bearing the brunt, who is doing. And I don't want to speak in generalizations because obviously there are a lot of men who do step up to the plate and are, are doing the, the homeschooling and are doing taking care of the kids. But when we speak just in generalities, when we're looking at these studies specifically, um, unfortunately, women feel like they're, you know, juggling everything right now. I'm certainly juggling everything. You know, before the pandemic, there are many studies that have shown that men founders, male founders are primarily funded on potential. Women are funded on proof. Well, how am I going to prove my business model in a pandemic? And now on top of that, we're doing homeschooling. We're taking our kids for COVID testing. We're not seeing families. We're decorating for the holidays. We're exhausted. I'm exhausted. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of people are exhausted right now. Levi, I want to bring you back in here because um, so we know that there are problems. So what do we do about it? You do have a number of tips um, that hopefully you can share and, and hopefully can be implemented. Yeah, we actually talked to the Women's Chamber of Commerce, Commerce and they, they provided a few tips for, for women-led businesses. Uh, first off, um, you're not alone. As Amanda mentioned, um, many businesses out there owned by women are struggling. Uh, so try and connect with other other businesses, uh, like-minded businesses. Secondly, make sure your finances are up to date because the government could come out with more funding. Uh, so when they do, it's, it's important to have your uh, systems in place, your, your your finances set up and your reporting ready for them. And then thirdly, make sure your voice is heard. Uh, talk to your local councillor, talk to your government, let them know that you're struggling. Yeah, there, there's a lot here, and who knows when this will all end. Amanda, I want to leave things with you. And, um, you know, any, any woman who's watching right now who owns a business and is trying to do it all, what do you want to say? Lean on help wherever you can. You know, if there's one, if there's one good thing that's come out of this for me, it's other, I'm on the Danforth, other Danforth brick-and-mortar business owners, especially women who... You know, we're sharing resources, we're looking for help with grant writing, we're figuring out what resources and funding and subsidies are available. It's hard when we can't get help in home right now, we can't lean on our family, but, you know, reaching out virtually, connecting, being really vulnerable and honest with other business owners, asking for help, it's been it's been everything for me right now. Mm -hmm. Do it together. Amanda, Levi, appreciate your time today. Thank you so much and happy holidays. Thanks, you too. Take care. 
All right, 6.45 is your time right now. We are going to go to break. We'll see you right after this.